Hey everybody, welcome to week number six of uh, Premier Mondays and um, welcome back, I should say. We had a week off, uh, we got a couple of things going on, I wasn't able to vlog, but I've got all the footage that I need for the show today. We're going to do a live edit of a vlog and uh, this is probably going to be the wrap up week uh, this week for uh, Adobe uh, Mondays and what we're, or Premiere Mondays and what we're going to move to now is actually... Uh, my special uh, live stream on backing up your photos and building a server and and um, other sorts of kind of ways that you can back up your photos. It's not just going to be for um, building your own, but it's also to buy a NAS backup and, and how to do proper backups and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so hopefully you guys will enjoy that. And of course, if you want to see something else live streamed, please let me know over on patreon.com forward slash the explorographer. That's where I'm at. That's where everything goes on. So uh, thank you very much tonight to all of my subscribers for bringing this live stream to you folks. And uh, this will be only for subscribers tonight. Please do not share this link. And then in a few weeks, this will actually go live on my YouTube channel. And then the world can see it. But those who have paid for uh, their subscription, this is kind of special. They get to watch this first. So what we're going to do is... Uh, zip on over to Adobe Premiere and this is going to be a full vlog edit tonight. So we're in it for the long haul, get comfy, get relaxed. Um, shouldn't take me that long, but you're going to see all the raw footage, everything from the beginning all the way to the end. All right, if you have questions, make sure you ask them in the YouTube chat. I'll be watching that and try to answer them as we go. Let's jump over there. All right, so we are going to start a brand new project here in Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, and all I usually do is I have some folders on a special drive where I save everything. So we're just going to create a new project. And what that's going to do is set us up here, but this is not where I want to be set up. So let's go over to that. And you can see that I have, um, I have folders, 4K, 720p, 1080p, and then ultra wide and a bunch of miscellaneous stuff where I record videos. This is going to be a 1080p video. And it's going to be in our vlogs. And I've already got a date set up. And I've already co uh, copied all of my media into this folder. So basically everything is in here uh, and ready to go. Um, all right. So I need to create a project. though. So this is the folder I want to save my project in. So we'll select that folder. And we're going to call the the vlog, vlog for six, uh, six twenty-seven, which is tomorrow, two thousand seventeen. So we're not kidding. We're going to release this on YouTube tomorrow, and that's all the settings that you need to do. So I'm just going to say okay. And of course, the very first thing that we need to do is import all of our media to start the edit. So I'm going to double click here, and we're going to go to M. And we put all the medias in video, 1080p, and it was in the vlogs, and media, ta-da! And that's all the stuff we gotta work with tonight, so woohoo! All right, we'll go ahead and select all of that and hit open. All right, this is gonna take a little bit of time to import uh, these project, or these media files in. Um, hey, Lori, how you doing? I'm glad you made it as well. Um, hopefully we'll get some other folks in here too, but if not, at least uh, you'll get to uh, take advantage of uh, being the only one here and asking all sorts of questions. That'll be fun. All right, uh, so uh, what I usually do, I usually like to look at the videos, uh, you know, by the little thumbnails because it helps me identify them, but when I'm putting together a vlog, it doesn't really help me to see everything here in picture format, it really helps me to see everything by the date that it was produced. So what we want to do is I usually have this window when I first start drawn open. And you can see there's all sorts of information hidden underneath here. So what we want to do is we want to add, click meta display, and I want to add the date. So hidden in here somewhere is the EXIF data for this video. So I think it's under core properties. I never remember. Do, 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 do. Well, let's see here. Tiff specific raw. Let's just go under basic. All right. 
let's do this. Let's wait. There it is. Creation date. <laughs> All right. Don't know them all in strength. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and we're going to select that. And then you should see that the date appears somewhere on here. If I scroll over, there's the creation date. I'm just going to grab that and I'm going to move it over because I want it to be over here where I can see it. All right, there we go. Now that we've got that, we can close. I don't need to see all this other information. So we've got our list of media. And then from there, I want to click on creation date and make sure that the creation date for this media goes from the earliest date to the latest date. So that means that this video here, I can select that. Now, if I need to see what it is, I can just go back to the video or go back to the thumbnails and then scroll through them and it's, it'll be the one that's selected. So this is me talking and opening the vlog. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that over into the timeline and let go. Um, let's see. I'm going to be in the right timeline is way over here now. There we go. All right, drag it over into the timeline, let go. And that's going to establish our sequence settings, which is 1080p, 30 frames per second, which is fine. That's exactly what I wanted. All right, so we're going to go ahead and play this clip and make sure things are good here. Hey guys, how you doing? AD here, and I haven't seen you in so long. I'm finally doing a blog, and uh, today is like been kind of stressful because I've been working very hard on a project for a friend of mine for his birthday. Now he doesn't know this and uh, he won't see this vlog until it's done. Uh, but what I've been working on is a 3D print uh, of a Fallout mini nuke. So I'll show you what that looks like here. Okay, so my plan was to inject some photos, which I'm going to do. Um, I'm not sure. Fallout mini nuke. All right, I think I'm going to edit it right there. I'm not going to say the second part. So I'll show you what that looks like here. That was kind of a mental note. So I'm going to go ahead and slice this right. Uh, well, first of all, let me do one thing. I found out uh, another way that you can control your audio throughout the entire recording. So I'm going to go ahead and do that first. So I click on the audio tab up here at the top. And you can see that a bunch of different things pop up here and this new essential sounds uh, pops up. So if I select the clip here, you can see that I can select dialogue and I can also select a preset. And I'm just gonna say, um, let's see, medium, make medium shot podcast voice. That sounds cool. Uh, let's see, from outside a building in a large room. Make close up. Let's see what that sounds like. So let's just try that and see what it sounds like in our voice. And uh, today is like been kind of stressful because I've been working very hard on a project for a friend of mine for his birthday. Now he doesn't know this and uh, he won't see this vlog until it's done. Uh, but what I've been working on is a 3D print uh, of a Fallout mini nuke. Okay, so that sounds pretty good. So I'm gonna keep that and we're gonna go back to the editing workspace. There we go, all right. Now, I, what I wanna do is I want to cut right after I say that. Before I look down, you notice I look down right there. I wanna cut it right at that spot. I don't wanna look down, I wanna cut. So I'm gonna cut it. I think it's actually before we lost. Mini nuke. Right, there we go. Right there. So I'm going to go ahead and after, after you make the cut, you can use the C and the V key to go back and forth between cutting and actually moving things around. So I've, I've gone, I've hit the V key now and I can now slide this over and now it should edit right up there. Fallout mini nuke. All right. Sounds like there's a little K in there I got to get. Fallout mini nuke. All right. Pretty cool. A Fallout mini nuke. All right. So I've got that in there. That's cool. Uh, the next thing I want to do is actually add in my. I've got some pictures of the mini nuke. So I'm going to go ahead and add those in. From, and I took pictures from the beginning to the end. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put these in there. We're going to bam like that. It's way too big. Don't worry. All right. So we got one in there. Let's make it smaller. 
absolute scale. Now I had an idea of how I wanted to do these. I don't know if it's going to work or not. What I want to do is have like one here, and then have another one appear next to it, you know? So I don't know how much time this is going to take though, and I don't know if I want to take up that much time, but let's just try it and see what happens. So I'm going to make a mask. Holding down the shift key, oops. Command or control Z to stop that. And I think it's that the aspect lock is on this. Is that's not that. It's backwards from what it is on every other program. I think it's uh click, then hold shift. Nope. So it's just gonna stretch that out, and I don't want to do that. Well, we'll just do it anyway. Seems like there was a Wait a there's the snap, okay. All right, so now it's doing it. <laughs> there we go, we're getting, it's a snap now. So we'll do that. Let's move it over, because I want to do a, kind of in quarters, you know? Oh my gosh. It's insane, their controls are like way wacky. I just want to stretch it out. Looks like I do it by, no, now it's completely attached to that and will not allow me to move it over. So that's cool. All right, so maybe this might end up being way too much trouble for its own, okay, so I can move this one, but I can't move the other one. That's amazing. What I want to do is make like it in quarters, you know. So I'm going to do a quarter here. We'll see how this looks. If it doesn't look good, we'll can it. So there's one quarter. Wow, that took forever. All right. So what I think I can do though is now that I have this, now that I have you, my friend, I can put in the next photo, which is uh, me painting it. That would be here. And I'm going to put this slightly above. Because the bottom photo is going to get... I want these all to be the same time. So I'm going to start out making them all the same time. And that's, of course, too big. So go back down. Around the same size-ish. All right. And then what I'm going to do is if I... Think, I think I can click on this guy and click on mask and hit copy and then click on the other clip and hit paste. Paste and it'll make the same mask for me there. Now I should be able to just grab this mask and move it around, but then you know. Photo you know, over a little bit. Not up. Never know. So there we go. And now we'll just move the photo over, folks. All right. So you kind of see what I'm getting at here, right? All right, and then I've got, oh boy, it's taking a long time. I think I have, yep, this one, which is almost painted, and then the final picture, so. Thank goodness I took all these photos. All right, so there's that. And let's uh, reduce this size. Whoops, we're still on there. Let's reduce this size down. All right, and let's paste our, again, it's kind of good. And we'll position this kind of where we think it's going to be there. And we just have to move the uh, mask around itself. Laura, I know you had uh, masks were something that you wanted to mess around with. So this is kind of, I hope this helps you a little bit. See more about masks. 
I don't use them all that often. And to be honest with you, I'd probably create this in something like After Effects, but you know, for this, it's fine. I'm gonna need to move this photo over a little bit, so I'm gonna move that one. Just a touch, and then we're gonna move the other one. Just a touch. You're probably like, well, what are you getting at? And I'll show you here when we get done. All right, and then the final photo. That one up top. Ta-da! All right. And then select that and shrink it. So this is kind of the one that, you know, was the final shot of this, so. And we'll paste our mask again. Do do mask. Paste. Works pretty good. And then we'll select the mask path. And we'll just move it around until it's exactly like we want it. Just to be about that wide. This wide. I don't think the masking tools are all that uh, great. <laughs> Uh, they could be a lot easier, I think. I think they could look at their Photoshop brothers and maybe make this a little simpler. So, all right, there we go. So now let's move it over. And there we go. Yeah, we might move the mask over just a tad. This guy. Back to that guy. Move him just a very little bit. There we go. All right. So the idea here is to have one appear and then the other ones appear. So all I'm going to do is um, let's stretch these out a little bit. Let's make them, let's start with them all being about this long. And I know there's a command to distribute these evenly and I can't think of what it is right now. So you'll have to forgive me. I'm just going to do it by hand. So here we go. I'm going to move that one there that one there and that one there and then I'll just stretch this one out to the length of the farthest one and this one only out to this one and this one out to that one now they should appear uh, kind of like uh, like in a, in a Brady Bunch sort of fashion <laughs> so all right let's take a look but what I've been working on is a 3d print uh, of a fallout mini nuke Now I made that on my 3D printer and then I painted All right, so that looks pretty good. It uh, needs some sort of funky sci-fi thing in there. And I think I have just the music for that. Uh, and I'm gonna do a search in the background because I have some Fallout tunage um, that I'm going to call upon. And I'm gonna grab that. So I'm gonna do that in the background. Hopefully this won't destroy, um, this won't destroy my, um, streaming abilities because searching sometimes can really uh, lay on some heavy duty traffic so we'll see what happens here um, I think it might be on my network drive actually so let me just do this in the background I know this is super exciting for you but I have music everywhere so you never know where it's going to be let's see music there Let's see if it's actually in my actual music drawer. That's always a, a good place to start looking. I don't know about you, where you're at, but allergies here are not all that great. <clears throat> so I have been uh, stuffed up for the whole week. All right, so why don't we go ahead and just see where this goes and we'll wait for that to do its uh, thing. Primed it, did all sorts of weathering and all that kind of stuff to it. Um, and the really cool thing that I think that's gonna finish it off in, uh, is uh, he's been waiting for this for a long time as has a lot of people for their 3D prints. It takes forever to finish these things. Um, but what's really cool is that I'm making him a handmade crate to hold the mini nuke. And I'm gonna kind of show you some of that stuff today.
as I work on it. And I, it's almost finished now, but I kind of wanted to show you what I've been working on. And then he can see this vlog later on. So I had to make this vlog anyway. So you guys can come on along and enjoy. All right. So that's my cue out. So we're going to go ahead and just chop the video at the end of there. I found my music. I'm pretty sure that I can just um, copy it. We'll see what happens here. I'm going to try to copy it from there. Hopefully this doesn't dump my network. We should be good. Into my media folder. I keep everything in one folder. So uh, this is inside that media folder that you're seeing over here on the left. Uh, paste that in there and actually this will uh, the tempo is going to pick up here as we get moving so there it is Questcom. I have no idea what this is so we're just going to put it in there and we're going to see <laughs> could be funny could be stupid let's see what it does a fallout mini nuke No, I made that up. All right, that's not bad. I think we're going to keep that. That's the main theme song anyway. And it, wow, it just fades out nice. I don't even, I might not have to do anything. Now I made that on my 3D printer and then I painted it, uh, primed it, did all sorts of weathering and all that kind of stuff to it. Um, and okay, so that worked out really well. It's the Fallout music, so it works perfectly for the bomb. And I'm going to use that. That's great. I don't think I'll get a copyright strike for as quick as that plays, so we should be good. Um, and if I do, it's still fun because I made it for my friend. I really don't care. All right, so let's go back and get some more media in here. So we've got the first scene done, and let's talk about... Now, the color and everything looks pretty good here. I, you know, um, sometimes I'll, there's a couple of plugins I use that actually work on your skin and do all sorts of things, make you look real nice and pretty. Um, but I'm not going to get that deep into this vlog tonight because that's a lot of work. Uh, so we're just basically going to get the stuff in here and get it going. All right. So we've got, let's get down here to our next clip. So there's some sound, 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 sounds, lots of sound. JPEG. Okay. It's MP3. So this is the first one here. This should be the second one. So let's just see what this is. We'll look at our scroll until we see which one. So, okay, so this is me talking about the crate in the, in the garage. And I had trouble with the camera here, but it's going to work anyway. So we'll just put it in here and we'll see where it goes. All right, so we're going to cut to the garage now. I think there's a couple of cut marks in here that we got to do some creative editing, but that's what we're learning tonight. So... We'll go ahead and we can see where the vocal, where my talking starts. So let's set it up to there. Slide it back. Come on along and enjoy. All right, guys. Well, welcome to my super, super messy shop. Um, right now you can see, um, you guys probably have uh, seen pictures on Facebook, but I'm painting the floor over here of my shop. But I'm using the other side right now while I'm waiting for some of those spots to dry. I'm using the other part of my shop to create this. Now this uh, is the box on which the mini nuke is going to uh, fit in. I rough cut this out of lumber that I had, um, this rough cut lumber right here. Uh, I used all of this uh, stuff, nice spalted maple. Uh, it was all rough cut and I used my uh, table saw and I used my, out there I used my... Uh... All right, so... I had like a, a, whole, a whole mental breakdown right here and, and could not remember the name of my cross cut saw or my chop saw as they call it. So sometimes I'll put in like an effect or something here, but I'm, all I'm going to do is do an edit out there. I used my, all right, going to cut it right there. I'll show you something that's a, a really cool trick. So if I hit C on the keyboard, it goes to the razor tool. If I cut where I want to stop the video and I cut where I want to restart the video. I hit V and it goes back to this little symbol uh, V and it goes back to the little pointer. If I select that and then hit shift delete, it pulls the whole clip back. Now, even if you have edits of 20 other edits after this, it moves them all back nicely. So you don't have to move them uh, 
by hand, which is really cool. So let me just see what that looks like. Used my out there, I used my, and I used my chop saw. All right, so I didn't get that edit right, so let's get in here nice and tight and see where I can edit this at. So let's just see. Used my out there, I used my. All right, so right there. Let's pull it back to here. So I don't repeat myself, which sounds a little weird. It's already gonna be a, a chop edit anyway, so that's cool. Chop chop edit for a chop saw. It's my uh, table saw and I used my and I used my chop saw and <laughs> alright, so obviously and I used my chop saw. Right, so I gotta get it on chop saw. So let's get to the word chop saw. So it's right here. Chop saw. After you've edited this stuff for a long enough time, you start knowing right where your words and things are at, and it'll go much quicker. This is taking a little bit longer than normal also because I'm demonstrating, so. Um, it was all rough cut and I used my uh, table saw and I used my chop saw and basically made this box. It's a wonder I could make the box when I couldn't remember what the, the saw was called. It's kind of crazy. All right, so there's an edit effect that you can use. I'm sure this won't work here, but I'll put it in here anyway so you can see it. It's called a video transition and it's new and it's under dissolve and it's called a morph cut. M-O-R-P-H cut. And if you put it in between two of your clips, it will compute alchemy in the background. So we'll let it go ahead and do that while we're messing around here with the next part of this clip. Let's just continue to watch this, then we'll come back to that. So, um, let's see what we got here. So we've got... All right, so also, I should probably explain what's going on here, um, because I'm making you guys kind of watch the clip all the way through. The first time I assemble a vlog, and then again, this is in real time, so we're doing this just like I would normally do it, um, I will always listen and watch the whole vlog, each clip, intently all the way through and then i'll make decisions of where i want to edit things i want to move remove that sort of thing that's why we're doing that let's see if it's picked up the yeah so normally <laughs> that's messed up all right so we just definitely don't want to use a, a morph cut there it actually works really good if you're talking and you're holding your head still and you're talking to a camera and you mess up and then you stop and then you start talking again if you don't move your head around a lot you can do a morph cut and it stitches it together you cannot tell that the person just didn't you know say the line exactly the way they're supposed to it's pretty cool it doesn't really work in this case though so we're just going to do a sharp edit and i used my chop saw and basically made this box all right so let's watch so, this so um Let's we'll see what we got here. So we've got uh, some nice rope handles here to hold it by. Uh, and so this is supposed to be like a kind of an, an ammo box. And we're gonna put uh, the nuke inside here. And it's got a nice top right now that I'm working on. Uh, we'll show you that. All right, so I'm gonna do a bunch of messing around here. I think I'm gonna chop cut this because we don't wanna have all of that in there. So let's just all this spinning around nonsense. Uh, we'll show you that. All right. So. Yeah, let's just razor it there. And we obviously know we're going to razor it up here somewhere. Let's just cut it there. We'll find out. Do a. And then shift delete gets rid of pulls everything together. Uh, table saw and I used my. All right, so this is the top right oh, here. Whoops, I didn't do it right. I wonder why that cut all of that out. And I used my chop saw and right. okay. basically made this box. Oh, right, this must be it. Undid that cut. Let's cut it again, and again, and again. Right. Shift, delete, again. All right, worked that time. Top right now that I'm working on. Uh, we'll show you that. 
All right, so this is the top right here, and uh, it's gluing up one of the rails, and I'll show you how that fits in to, this is a nice pine, um, all sanded up and ready to go, and I'll show you how that fits into the box. All right, so essentially what I did is I kind of kept the camera rolling. So uh, these edits are, you know, everything that I'm going to, uh, fast forward through these but I make it a cut where I want to cut that last scene and we'll just see where this goes I'm pretty sure I just walk back to my garage like you guys don't need to like I wouldn't leave this in the vlog all right so we have the all right so right there's where you guys got to chop it again so we'll chop it right there and select that shift delete there we go so we'll look at that scene show you how that fits into the box all right so we have the pine box i don't know how well you guys can see this but uh i just glued this rail on here let's get rid of all that stuff so it has two rails on here and these rails fit inside the edge of the box so pow and there we go and it holds it in there nice and there we go so on the top here i'm going to do a stencil on the top that says uh vault 23 only and 23 has to do with walter's house so um and we'll just leave it at that uh but so yeah it's going to say vault 23 only on it and i'm also going to write a short story as to what this means. Um, so I came up with a story that uh, Walter was occupying his vault and some raiders wanted to take him out so they sent him a gift and you know it's kind of a prank as to what this means. Um, so I came up with a story that... Uh, Alright so right here I think I'm going to do a chop cut. Um, so I Um, so I came up with a story. All right, right there. I have an idea for this little... I'm going to put up a warning sign right here. Um, because not everybody knows exactly what I'm talking about. So let me just uh, see if I have... These are all my clips. Let me back out of here real quick and just take a quick peek. And C. Too many hard drives. Alright, broadcast. Assets. Do -do. I don't think I have what I need here. Yeah. Um, so let me, uh, I'm going to pull in an asset for the, uh, whoopsie, uh, knocking things down here. I'm going to pull in an asset that I can use for a little break right here. It's just going to say, warning, video game lore. And, and just so people kind of get an idea. So, um, let's see. I'm uh, just doing a quick search for a screen uh, that I need. There we go. I got it. These assets are usually available online if you do an image search. So that's what I'm doing. Since this is video is not for money, we can use this. And it's just a Fallout screen. So I'm adding it to my assets in the media folder so just give me a second here doing this off screen do, do, do. I'm putting that in the media folder there's fallout in the media folder okay so what i want to do is we're going to import this screen right y'all and we're going to put a little text on here so here's this and I also need some music again. And 
It's got to be something that is... <laughs> I have a bunch of good stuff here. You guys are... I don't think you're hearing that right now. I'm listening to a few pieces, a few clips here just to see if I can find something. Any of these are not long enough. And I have to be careful because some of the stuff we can't use. So just bear with me. I was hoping there'd be some sort of like... kind of funny stuff, but I'm not sure. I have lots of clips that we could use, but... Let's do a quest complete. Okay, we'll use that one. Just for giggles. All right, so we'll just import that as well. And it's quest. Main two. Yeah, okay. All right, so we'll just put that here. I'm going to put our little thingy up there. We're going to stretch that out to about there. We'll pull our clip back to here. Just like that. All right, and then we got to make this screen real quick. Make that as big as the screen. So we'll zoom that out like that. And then we'll put some text over the top. So we'll take the text tool. We'll just put here. Put the words warning. And we got that up there. So you can't really see it, but we're going to make it so you can see it. Here's just one second. Let's pick a font that you can really see. They have this new font tool, and I think I talked about this back a while ago. And it's, it's okay, but it's not as good as the original font tool. And I don't know. I, I just, there we go. That's just plain and simple enough right there. Let's um, change the color of the text to red. And we also want to make it bigger. So we'll just select it, make it bigger. And there's like no centering, like I can't, it doesn't uh, allow me to center on the screen, although there might be an align in here somewhere. Let's see. Now, see, that's the problem, is it just doesn't have all the wonderful uh, editing features that you had with the original one. So we'll just do it by eye. And then we're going to put in another text down below it. This will default, I think. So just a, a funny thing here. We're just going to put this in here. So you can kind of use the two dots as the center line. So hopefully that, you know, that'll work out. So this is what we'll end up with as to what this means. Um, so I came up with this story. That uh, Walter was occupying his vault and some raiders wanted to take him out so they sent him a gift and you know it's kind of a prank gift. It says Vault 23. He opens it up. It's a mini nuke and it goes off and now the raiders have taken over 
Walter's vault. So hopefully Walter will be smart enough not to allow that to happen. So what we need to do next is uh, basically we've got this so that it fits nice now. Um, and it only really kind of goes in one way, which is what I wanted. So there we go. And uh, I'm going to do the painting on the top. So we'll do a little video and show you guys how I'm doing that. All right. All right. So uh, while, I, while I was listening to that, I was also grabbing the next clip, doing the same thing, the list, going down the dates, and grabbing the next clip. So here I am putting the letters together to make the next section. The first thing we do when we bring the clip in is we'll trim it. Just pull this edge over, just like so. What I'll do is use the zooming technique down here to zoom in. Let's see what I say here. All right. All right, so I hit that. That's an okay thing. We'll just leave it just like that. All right, so the idea is, is that I have all these little wooden letters and I'm going to lay them out uh, so that they say vault. I'll take a show you this from overhead so you can see it. Um, but I'm going to kind of do it in a haphazard. The letters aren't all the same size. They're kind of all different. Um, so I'm going to kind of lay this out in a haphazard sort of manner. Uh, because, you know, if it was like a, if it was a uh, truly a, kind of a bomb, uh, then it would be, you know, it would just be kind of thrown together to kind of look official. So we've got to kind of try. All right. So, hey guys, how you doing? AD? Oops. I had a problem with my camera cutting out from heat. So let me just see uh, the next clip and we're going to see how we'll edit this together. So we're on clip number four here. So we'll go to the next one. And this has been pretty good. So I'm just going to grab this and throw it in here. Let's just see what happens here. So one of the problems I'm going to run into is that you can see that these two letters okay. are so, uh, truly a kind of a bomb. Uh, then it would be, you know, it would just be kind of thrown together to kind of look official. So we've got to kind of. All right. So let's see if we can make an edit here. I doubt that I can, but we'll try it. To kind of look official. So right there is the end of that phrase. See how bad this is. Thrown together to kind of look official. So one of the problems I'm going to run into. Yeah, so it's not going to work. Get the word ol, ol in there. Official. Together to kind of look official. So one of the problems I'm going to run into is all right, so what did I said here? Look official. So, so one of the ah, so so we may have an edit point here because I start with so. Let's see what. So what's interesting? So one of the problems is that usually letters sound a lot alike. When you mix them, so let's just see what happens. Official. So one of the problems. All right, we're going to move these two so that they mix together. So by putting the clips over top of each other, we're causing the audio to mix together. So there's not such a a break point. Let's see what happens. Official. So one of the problems. Keep trying. Official. So one of the problems. Official. So one of the problems. All right, that's getting better. Let's see what happens if we shorten that up a little bit. Official. So one of the problems I'm hearing just a little bit of a clip in there. Official. So one of the problems I'm gonna yeah, that's not bad right there. Let's listen to that back. A lot of times I'll actually close my eyes to listen to parts like this so that I can really get a sense of, if I'm not looking at it, can I tell that it switched a scene or that I, that I did an edit? Kind of thrown together to kind of look official. So one of the problems I'm going to run into is that you can see that these two letters are actually just that, they're letters. Now does it make sense? Uh, then it would be, you know, it would just be 
kind of thrown together to kind of look official. So one of the problems I'm going to run into is that you can see that these two yeah. letters are actually it works. just that. They're letters. It's I'm usually not too critical C. on um, blogs. And I need so. numbers because I need this to say 20. I was making a movie. It'd so be I'm different. going to use my sander uh, and possibly a couple of uh, a rat tail file to make these, curve these edges a little bit more, make them look more like numbers. And then I'm going to mask this all off. I'm going to lay these letters on there. I'm going to spray paint over the top of it so that it uh, these letters will block out certain areas and then I'll pull the letters away and it'll have the letters written there in inverse. So the next step is to fix the E and the Z so that they look more like 23. You're doing that next. All right so I don't think I'm going to keep the doing that next in there. Let's just go with that. And let's pull in the next clip. All right, going to get a little loud and messy. <laughs> let's do this one here. So let's do the three first. It just look like a three. All right, before we play that clip, what I'm probably going to do is before it gets up to full volume, I'm going to cut right there. And I'll show you why. We're going to cut it there. We're going to move ahead and see when I stop doing it, which is right here. And we're going to speed this clip up so that it goes really fast. Because no one wants to see me sand uh, unless it's in fast speed, because that's always funny to watch. So let's just speed this up as fast as we can. So we're going to take a minute. And we're going to turn a minute into... Let's turn a minute into five seconds. Let's just see what happens. Might not even play. Like a three. <laughs> All right, so that's a horrible sound, which is awesome. So what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, we're gonna remove that by lowering the sound. And I think what we'll do, let's see what happens if we turn it up just a little. It's not, not so annoying when it's down lower, so let's just turn it down low. All right. So we won't play it very loud. We'll make sure the volume is turned out. I just dragged that line right there down and that made the uh, clip lower in volume and then let's come out of it and see what I say then when we come so I run this thing several times and I really don't want to make people have to sit there and listen to it so all right so the Z is being a little difficult so I think we're going to uh, hack this a little bit let me grab a saw or some other tool all right, I'm going to edit all this stuff out, I think. This is about improvisation. That tool. Yep, not going to keep any of this. Or some other tool. So we'll cut that. And let's see what we get here when I come back. What we're going to do. All right, boom, that. Shift delete. Listen to our edit. Let me grab a saw or some other tool. What we're going to do is we got the really to make this Z look like a two, we need to kind of cut that edge off. So I'm just going to get nasty with it. Cut it off. Kids, don't use your pliers at home or your wire cutters at home to make letters into numbers, or do. So I think it's fun to use different tools for whatever needs to get done. So there we go. All right, so that's looking a little bit more curved. Got my rat tail file here to finish off my three. Let me finish the Z and we'll do the three. Kind of rhymes. All right, All right here we go. 
So here we go again with the sound again. So I think what we're going to do is chop it again. Now let's, uh, let's try a different edit here. Let's try doing this. Let's try doing this. This might not work. Let's just see what happens. Kind of rhymes. All right, here we go. <laughs> all right, let's, let's see if that works better. We might want to make all the edits like that. Let's just see. Rhymes. All right, here we go. All right, looks like a two to me. Uh, okay, so that's a lot less annoying than the other. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to remove that. Let's zoom in. And go back to that edit really quick. I like the power up and the instant power down. That's that's good. Let's just see. Three. All right, so the Z is being a little difficult, so I think we're going to uh, hack this a little bit. That works. Grab right. a saw. That's what we'll go with. Or some other tool. What we're going to do. I'm going to be consistent and do the same thing the, through all of the edits where I use the sander because the sander is loud and obnoxious, and we don't want people just to be like, ah. So the, just being a little sound like this doesn't annoy people too much. All right, here we go. Sounds like a car revving up, right. actually. Looks like a two to me. Um, that's an orbital sander, by the way, and I'm using 80 grit paper to really just take this off as quick as possible. Might have to fix that a little bit, kind of stickler for those little edges. Uh, we'll do that. Let's get the three looking good. We're going to use a rat tail file. Just curve these out a little bit. Now these letters are actually made out of plywood, so pretty uh, resilient to sanding and whatnot. So it's pretty nice. They don't crack. If they were softer woods, I'd, I'd worry about it, but I just want to do a little rounding. You use the Adam Savage uh, method of of using a file, which is like this. Apparently, it's easier to control. I don't know. Seems to be all right. All right. So we've got a pretty good looking three there. Just gonna put a little notch here in the back, and we'll be good to go. Which I need a flat file for. So let's get a flat file. All right. It looks like the audio is off a little bit. Not sure why. All right, looks like a two to me. Um, that's an orbital sander, by the way, and I'm using 80 grit paper to really just take this off as quick as possible. Might have to fix that a little bit, kind of stickler for those little edges. Uh, we'll do that. Let's get the three looking good. We're gonna use a rat tail file, just curve these out a little bit. Now these letters are actually made out of plywood, so pretty uh, resilient to sanding and whatnot. Might just be the stream, I'm not sure. So we'll just leave that. Back, and we'll be good to go, which I need a flat file for. So let's get a flat file. All right, so I'm going to get a flat file. We'll just cut that there, we'll cut that there. No one wait around for me to get a flat file. And we'll be good to go, which I need a flat file for. So let's get a flat file. All right, here's a flat file. <laughs> just a simple little thing. Go one way, up here the other. That's good. Dent right in the middle of it. Kind of got to line it up by eye. Because this is all hand stuff. We're not doing anything super critical here. Put a little notch in the back. Make it look more like a three, right? All right. Add a little there. Now, while this is ply, it's still pretty soft. So it's nice for this... Uh, sort of thing being able to customize my own letters and numbers here so after a little bit of work you can see I have a number three um, it looks like this part's a little longer here so we're going to take that off with the power sander
And that certainly to me now looks like a number three and not an E. So you can see that. Close enough. Come on, focus. There we go. Focus. All right, number three. Now we need number two. I think the tail over here needs to be taken off just a little bit and that edge fixed. We'll do the flat file for the edge. Okay, we're going to run the sander again, so I'm just going to slice and dice that. That back. I think still good with the stream. I'm just double checking. Looks good. All right. Once more with the power sander. <laughs> And there we go, folks. Put them in my hand. And you can see now they look much. And then you can see they look much more. Okay, so the camera quit on me again. So let's just edit that back. They look much. And then you can see they look much more. All right, so let's see. I'm going to unjoin these two. Unlink, actually. And let's pull this back. Let's see what I say here. Put them in my hand. And you can see now they look much. Okay. Much. And then you can see they look much in my hand. And you can see now. All right. So we're going to unlink these two as well. And we're going to pull this audio back to here and temporarily pull the video back as well. I'm going to move both of these forward, show you what I'm doing here. And then grab both of these together and move them back to here. I'm going to listen to just the audio for a second. And there we go, folks. Put them in my hand. And then you can see they look much more like a 23. All right, so that sounds pretty good. Let's see what we can do with the video. Thank you. See the there you can see they look much more like a 23. So I think right, we're ready to cool. mask and begin our painting. I'm not gonna like bother you guys with how long it's gonna take me to mask this. So uh, I'm gonna mask it and then come right back. Cool. All right, so let's get our next piece in here. All right. We're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. Cool. Should be worth noting that all good masking jobs require an awesome beer uh, on a 85 degree day. So let's get to masking. Thank you, Left Hand Brewing, for some good juju. All right. That's a keeper. Let's see where we're at here. So the masking's done. Edit these back together. Some good juju. All right, guys, through the magic of the internet, there it is. It's masked. Uh, and now we just need to put down vault. Sorry, I'm hitting the mic there. All my letters here. We're going to put down vault 23 only. So we'll get all of our letters out. All right, so I'm going to do some jump cuts here. It's just going to quickly slice out all of this space. We'll go back and we'll select
all of that and move it over. I just want to see what this looks like. If we don't like it, we can easily just fix it. All right, let's see what that does. And we'll get all of our letters out. Make believe I can spell. There we go. So I think I'm going to put vault and then two, three up at the top. Hopefully you'll know this reference. All right, so that works. Let's just keep going with that. Cut, slice, dice, get rid of the space. It's perfectly okay. Our ADD YouTubers will love it. Go. Hopefully you'll know this reference. And then only down here at the bottom. All right, so that looks pretty good. I'm going to spread out the word only to make it look like it's, you know, very important. All right, now we need to spray it. So let me go get some paint and I'll be right back. Have some beer and get some paint and I'll be right back. All right. Um, so, yeah, Lori, so that's an interesting question. So check this out. If I slice this video right here like that and I drag this clip upwards like so and I got to be careful because I don't want to overwrite anything but then if I grab the edge again I can pull the entire video back out so it's non-destructive editing that's the thing that makes Premiere so awesome so you know you're not actually cutting uh, if I was to lose the entire um, process right now if I lost everything the video files would be untouched so nothing's actually happening to the videos. You're actually, believe it or not, what's actually happening in the background is you're writing a script by placing graphical things on the screen. You're writing a script for a program to assemble your video. Not a lot of people know that, but that's actually what's happening. You're actually creating a script and then the encoder goes through and assembles the bits according to your script. So it's not destructive it's very nice. All right. Uh, now that I did that, is this the next clip? We'll find out. All right, let's see. All right, yes, it is. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Um, we're we're getting close to the finish of the box and some special clips that I made. Have some beer and get some paint, and I'll be right back. All right, you guys are gonna love this. Got some paint, so I'm gonna use some black paint, and after I spray this, I'm gonna peel this off. And then I'm going to paint in the letters with another color so the wood doesn't show through. But you're going to love this. So now I made this three, right? <laughs> well, the three is actually supposed to be a six. So I got to make another letter. It looks like I got to go get a G and figure out how I can. All right. So that's kind of funny that I did that. So um, I think I'm going to pull up a. Uh, Uh, I'm going to pull up a screen for this. Hold on. I've got a screen. I'll show you in just a moment. And... Also, a sound effect. <laughs> so, not sure how I get this though. Uh, let's see if you guys can hear that. Um, I could just record it, but I don't want to take it from YouTube. So. Let's find something that's not YouTube. Every single one. Oh, I see why. That's why. So we want a thing called Sad Trombone. And I can get it at Free Sound. I put these in uh, my vlogs every once in a while. These little... Uh, yes, it's, a, uh, it's supposed to be a 6 instead of a 3. I totally goofed up. 
So I'm waiting for a website right now to download the free wah-wah sound. Okay, here we go. So I'm downloading the sound. And save the link as. This is a free sound on the internet, so there should be no license involved. That's nice. It's just a very slow, very slow sight. What if I can drag this right onto this? Yes, I can. <laughs> so that's the picture I'm going to put up. And I got to see if I can get the sound. I can't get the sound here because they want me to log in. Oh boy, love it. Let's see what they require for logins. Uh, too much junk. Most of the time these are free, but this time it's not. So bear with me, gotta get my sound. So many places on the internet that say things are free and then they're not. Nothing's ever free. All right, see what we got here. I found one, I think. But they want me to log in. <laughs> All right, so we'll come back to that. Um, but I'm going to put this little this little thing here. Um, I know I have, you know what, I, I have my own sounds. I don't really need anybody else's. So let's just figure out. Well, the three is actually supposed to be a six. All right, so I'm going to put it right there. Six, right on that word. Ding. Put that there, put that there. We'll save that. We'll come over here, because I have a special uh, backups. Not sure where I have my sounds. Loops and effects. I have effects. All right. Give that a second to percolate. We're going to insert this dude in here. And I think I'm going to animate him a little bit. So I'm going to have him start out that big. And we're going to click on a keyframe over here. And then we're going to have him get to about here. I actually need to have my sound first. So let me just see what's in here. Oh boy, these are bad. <laughs> I have a Warner Brothers uh, sound effects library, so we must have something in here, right? I wish there was some way for you guys to actually hear uh, some of this stuff. Ah, comical. What do we got? No oh boy. There are about 16 media players right now all open at once. It's just they're going nuts. And now it won't play anymore. That's great. These don't sound anything that they don't sound funny at all. All right. Well, Foley's sound effects. Got lots of comical stuff. Uh, 
Wow, my search just on my server just went nuts. I'm not even looking at the right stuff, so let's just try this again. Yeah, I could search for a month, I think. I don't know why I don't really can. I usually find this stuff online. It's just easier that way, but... Oh, boy. All right, we'll just put something funny and stupid in there, then. Like, this glass breaking. Put that in there. How do you like that? Ah. So we'll put that in there about that long, keep this guy that long, and we'll animate him. So it'll be... All right, that's... What's not funny about breaking glass, right? Let's just put that there, that there. We want our picture to last as long as our sound does. We're going to start out at that size with the photo. Click on that clip. We'll go to the end, and out there, scale them up, right in your face. All right, so then it'll look like this. All right, shorten that up a little bit. All right. That gets the point across. I'm an idiot. So it works. And we'll come back right back to our video. <laughs> well, the three is actually supposed to be a six. So I got to make another letter. It looks like I got to go get a G and figure out how I can make that into a six. So ah, I think I drank all this beer before I started. Anyways, it's Vault 26 we need, not Vault 23, so... <laughs> uh, this is how my vlogs go, I just leave in what I do. So, I uh, gotta go make a 26. Alright, I'll be back after I find the letter I need. Alright, so, we got our next clip that we need here. My goodness, where are we? That's, uh, let's see, 16... 47, 39, 16, 47, 16, 47, 39. It was this one, so this one's next. Let's see what we can do in the shop now. The letter I need. All right, guys, with a bit of surgery, it looks like I'm going to be able to take a letter B and a J and make a 6 out of it. Uh, so sanding uh, yeah so let's do that I'm gonna take off the round part down here all right so it looks like we're gonna be doing our sanding edit again chop chop select the center one shift delete pull it back oh looks like there was more to it with this one and this is where I think I said something about the camera turning off. So let's just see. Okay. All right. Keeps clicking on and off, but we are a little bit closer. And it's a little bit more. So let's continue on. If this shuts off, I'll have to restart it. And so we're going to sand again. Sanding. Stop sanding. All right, so that cuts that out. All right, so we got a almost six, almost there. 
Uh, I'm gonna round out a little bit of this. All right, let's see how long this segment is because I might not want to shoot the whole thing. Let's just see. Too long. And it looks like it clicked out again. So, all right, what I'm going to do. All right, so we got a almost six, almost there. Uh, I got to round out a little bit of this. Add a little bit more round. All right, so I'm going to right there. A little bit of this. Right there. I'm going to cut it. And we're going to speed the clip up. We don't want to bore people to death. We're going to do that. They're not bored already. Which is funny because people like to... I keep knocking stuff down. Um, people really like to watch this sort of thing. All right, let's speed it up 400%. Hey, almost six, almost there. Uh, I got to round out a little bit of this. Everything's better at high speed. that our standard cut I think it totally works uh, as a chipmunk so let's just do this this let's cut that out and we're gonna do another one because I see another one here do do select Shift dog let's see what that looks like So, hey guys, how you doing? AD oh, here, and I have... Always goes back to the game. All right, so let's see. We're working on a 15-minute blog. That's way too long than normal, but this is kind of a special thing. So let's um, right there. Let's clip it again and go back to normal speed. So we'll put that. Slice. Select the clip, and we'll change the speed again back to 100%. Because I say some important things that lead us into the next scene. Go with, whoops, what we got. All right, cool. Start it then. I'll be back. Yeah, so I got to go back a little farther. So let's undo that. And maybe go back to here. Speed 100. All right. Super glue. And put it together. Now I have a super glue. All right. So it looks like what I need to do is kill that. Go back to this clip and just put this at 100%. And draw it out. Do that. Let's just see what it does. Let's see how close we are. We're pretty good. All right. So now the thing left to do is to go get some super glue. and put it together all right so that's now i have a i'm not going to leave that end part in there and put it together right there so we'll just hack it off at that point there we go and let's see here Doo -doo. 
All right, guys, through the magic of fast drying super glue, gotta sand this edge a little bit, and then we're ready, finally. So I'm gonna sand that, and then we'll get ready to go. All right, so I'm gonna cut out the sanding all together. Select, Shift, Delete. And that, and then we'll get ready to go. It wasn't easy, but now we have a 2.6. And I like the fact that the two are different sizes from each other too, because that just lends to the kind of wackiness of the lettering. So I'm going to set these up, get rid of the three. Use that somewhere else, I'm sure. We'll set this up. Again, I'm editing to the to the cutting room floor just simply for time. Up now, in order not to uh, get this all over my camera, I'm going to shut this off and move away from this area to spray, and then I'll show you what it looks like as I'm taking the masking off. So we'll come right back. So. Yeah, Laura, you make a good point. I am of the school that you measure twice, cut once. And uh, that's just a perfect example of me. Uh, you know, I was so wanted to get this done, and I was on a deadline. And, uh, yep, just messed up the number. And But I, you know, before I laid down the paint, which is irreversible, uh, I went to double check, and I was like, wow, I totally screwed that one up, so... We'll come right back. All right, guys, while the paint's still dry or wet, I'm sure it's hard for you to see. But I'm using a little dart here. I'm going to take off these letters without disturbing where they are on the uh, box top here. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing I did before because this is a stylistic cut. So I'm just going to cut these all out. Bing, bing. Bing, bing, so on, so forth. Marching through my video everywhere. There we go. Okay. We do that. You know, actually, I think you can hold down the shift key and select all these spaces at once. And I think if I hit shift delete, it cinches them all up nicely. I didn't have to do anything there. Space saver. Box top here. Magically, you can see that the lettering appears exactly like I wanted it. Now, if you don't do this until the paint dries, while the paint is still a little wet, so the masking won't work properly. So you want to get these off here. That works. I made sense, sort of. So there we go. Oops, I didn't do my shift. Do whoopsie shifty. There we go. Up here while the paint is still a little wet. Now there's supposed to be some overspray here, so that's that's the point. It's supposed to look rough. All right. Now we got that. We're gonna take the paint, uh, the tape, the painter's tape off, and this is gonna give us some nice crisp lines because the paint is still wet. There we go. There's a painting top tip. When you don't wait till the paint dries to take the tape off, so take it off while it's wet. Anything else? That's my main goal here. There we go. All right, I'm gonna throw this away. Get rid of that, and you guys can see what it looks like. Here we go. Just up, and there it is. Vault. 26 only. All right. Now, um, the next thing to do, so let this dry. I'm going to put it out in the sun. So we're going to take a break for a while. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to paint inside of this yellow. So it looks like a warning. Yeah. All right. And then I'll show you how the box goes together. Cool. We'll see you then. All right. So here's where 
I have a little special thing called the Box MP4, and it is a time lapse of the paint drying, so to speak. Whoops, not there. We want Vault. Where is it? Vault lapse. This one. We have no sound here, so I thought I'd put a little sound behind this, and I did get some soundtrack material. I do have some songs. So I thought I would do is let's, uh, let's delete that out of there. For this little thing, is we'll use a little song for the transition. I'll show you how the box goes together. Cool. We'll see you then. All right, so we know how that's going to go. So I think what I'm going to do is we've got to kick in another video that I'm painting in. Let's just see. Seven, 17331. So it looks like we're coming down to the end of the videos. So that's good. All right, what's this video? Nope, oh, we're not going to use that one. That was originally what I was going to use, but I'm not using that one now. These one. There we go, we're inside. All right, guys, I got some Galleria acrylic. So I'm going to let the music continue to play in the background here because we go to another time lapse. So let me just pull that back a little bit and see what the music does here. So, that's cool. I think what I want to do is unlink these. I, sometimes you want to, like this is a blank track and I want to shove this audio underneath there, so I'm deleting, unlinking the two, the video and the audio, because the only thing that really matters here is the, uh, is the video of the, of the lapse. So now we can do this. And just as the music transitions, all right, guys, I got some Galleria acrylic cadmium yellow. We're going to paint these letters in. And we'll put it So let's see if we can edit this down so that it fits right in the, the gap. That's what I'm going for. All right, guys, I got some Galleria acrylic cadmium yellow. We're going to paint these letters in. And we're going to put it on a time lapse. So we need to quiet the music down. So what we're going to do is I think we'll go to right here where my voice starts talking. And what we need to do is click on the audio track and then you can see that the audio track now appears up here. If we click on a key, um, the, if we make sure that the uh, key framing is turned on, if I uh, turn it on and turn it off, it makes a key frame. And then I'm going to move ahead just a little bit and then drop this down a few decibels and you'll see that this little shelf appears and that'll lower the music underneath my voice. All right guys, I got some Galleria acrylic cadmium yellow. We're going to paint these letters in and I'm going to All right, so now there's another trick that I want to do. Um, I want that section to be actually twice as long as it is. And I think we can accomplish that by editing this audio. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to slice the audio. I need to do a little bit of audio editing here. So let's zoom in real tight. So let's slice it there. And 
but my, my allergies are really kicking my butt right now. I apologize for the sniffles. So you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, looks like. Let's just see what happens with that. We'll take that, we'll move this out of the way, take this guy, we'll copy it. We'll move down to this audio track. And right here. And paste it. And let's see if it melds together. These letters in. And I'm going to put it on a time lapse. Uh, so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me paint every single stinking one, one at a time. So let's get some paint out. All right, so I think stinking one, one at a time. All right, so that's a good place to end it. We want to do that. And so I'm going to cut those last words off. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the other audio. I'm going to click on the audio that I want to edit. I come up here to the volume, hit the level twice. That puts down a little keyframe for me. And then I'm going to just basically move one frame ahead. That moves me one frame ahead. And then dB is going down to minus 287. So that's going to cut the audio okay. off right there. Every single stinking one, one at a time. All right, so we're going to start. That's a good place to start our uh, painting. So we're going to paint. That's this section right here. Another time lapse. Okay, so it's pretty short. Um, so yeah, Lori asks, how, uh, how did I create the time lapse? So I have a, a little app on my phone called Lapsit, L-A-P-S-E-I-T. And um, it's just a little camera app. You set it for the interval and what you want and let her go. And that's all there is to it. Um, <clears throat> it makes the video and then you can pull it in here and use it. So let's see. I think I'm going to slow the lapse down a little bit. So what we're going to do is speed duration. Let's uh, make this, I want to make it as long as this. So it looks like I need to double the time. So let's try to go to 20 seconds. See what that does. There we go. Let's see how much that messes the video up. Nope, I like it. It's fine. Well, there we go. All right. So that ends up just about right. Um, I want it to end perfectly, so let's just stretch this just a little bit more. 21. A little bit more. It's inches. Inches. Let's see. Uh, 0.5. Nope. I need to be more than that. Maybe 54. To 50, let's do 53. Oh, it's going the wrong way. Going the wrong way. Oop. Uh, then 51. Yay. Okay, so I can cut that off just a little bit. Just fine. There we go. 51. Uh, let's see. Last I used was 614, which is this clip. So we're back to this one. And this is me talking about the paint and doing a stain feature. All right, guys, so now what we're going to do is I got to make it look a little used. So part of the lore was to have the Raiders use this box to set their Nuka bottles on or whatever. So I'm going to do a process called tea staining. 
and that's where I use coffee or tea. Coffee, tea, or me, right? I use coffee or tea, which is kind of what I'm using here. I'm using a mixture of coffee and tea to put some rings on this wood to make it look like it's stained. So <laughs> this is going to go good. It's going to go horribly wrong. So let's see what happens. So I'm going to dip the bottle in. I'm going to dip the bottle in and set it down real quick. I'm just going to leave it sit there for a second. We'll see what kind of ring we get. Eh, not really anything great, right? So we'll put that over here for a second. Now this is just a weathering thing, so um, it doesn't matter if it's perfect. So let's try to make the rest of the bottle out of this. So we'll put that in there. Put this right around in a perfect ring. Want a chance to kind of stain. There we go. All right. So you can kind of see what that's going to look like. It's a little. Looks like somebody left their cup there, and it's got the lines to look like a nuka bottle. So let me uh, just take those lines and make sure that they're really prominent. So we'll spread this out a little bit. Walter will know exactly what this is when he sees it. So we're just going to leave the water on here. Ring, that's what I want. Make the rest of the nuka bottle here. It knows exactly what was sitting on there. All right, so to make a long story short, <laughs> it doesn't actually work. So, disappeared. So we might want to enhance it a little bit. Let me go get some, something a little bit more steam. All right, so um, I think what I'm going to do, make an executive sit decision. And I'm going to cut it there. Cut it here for now. And we're going to put some text on the screen. Because it was true. <laughs> so we're going to put that on the screen. And it's just kind of a funny thing. Still wish there was some sort of centering thing. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's all you do. Is that? Nope. That just, that does that. It seems to do nothing. No. Oh, I think I see what's going on there. All right. Want any more text? Yeah, I don't know how to center it. Be honest with you i'm gonna to have to look that one up because they've changed it so much that i don't know so we're just going to put that in there though as a placeholder let's see where the video goes from here i'm going to make a big edit here as you can see all of this didn't actually work and it's a long process I actually used paint at some point in time and I'm not sure where what I did with it. Alright, so let's just uh Is what we want. So we'll let that go ahead and dry. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to put a clear on it. Let me show you what we're going to do with the rest of it. Well that's dry. Alright so We'll let that go ahead and dry. I think I'm going to cut it right there.
Let me go get some something a little bit more steam. We'll let that go ahead and dry. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to put a clear on it. Let me show you what we're going to do and that's going to be in here on the side. So um, that's it. I think I'll wait and uh, roll video again uh, because this has got to be shipped out tomorrow. If I was going to ship one of these things, I'd, this is what I'd ship it in. I am going to video from the road and that'll be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this like uh, little thing uh, that I did. This is for my friend Walter. He's a photographer. You need to check him out. He His website is artofabandonment.com. Uh, he's pretty well known down in the south. He's a good friend of mine. He kind of got me into photography. He got me into Fallout. So this is kind of a fun thing to do uh, for him. So um, yeah, I might finish staining the top and making it all look the same. Or I think what I can do is paint in this now. All right. So again, we'll do a callback. This is a, a callback is a famous comical comedian thing to do in this now all right so right there i'm going to cut it again and we're going to insert the uh another many hours later because it was many hours later just grab that select that i hit uh, commander control c to copy and we'll come down here to this break and move this aside and commander control v that'll put that in there again and let's just uh we'll go to the end here where i actually finished it off what we'll do is there thing and there okay so that's good good spot right there we'll hack it again boom are you hitting it that time? And we'll make this a speed of 400. Made that disappear. Zoom out some more. This will go back to here. This will go back to here. And it'll be like this now. Do a little, we'll do a little video from the road and that'll be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this like uh, little thing. Uh, that I did. This is for my friend Walter. Or I think what I can do is paint in this now. I think it might need to be faster. Let's go faster. Let's go 600. Still going to be too long, I think. Well, what we can do is we got this little space right here. And cut that out for sure. The exciting world of video editing.
I'm gonna cut all that out. So let's see. Right there. Hack that. And pack it right there. That got a lot of time out of there. That's good. So it's going so fast, no one will know what I'm saying anyway. So it doesn't really matter. That got me down to a good time. And there we go. Tomorrow, we'll package it up and we'll send it off. All right. Stop it right there. Almost done. So let's see. Next day. Oh, yeah. Woohoo for new socks! So, every once in a while, I'll just make a silly little video clip and I'll put it in, in the middle of kind of like an Easter egg. So, if this is. I got new socks. So, if this is a. Um, it's a weird clip, but it's going in there. Because that's what I do. All right, so this is the actual, I mean, we're in deep now, so it doesn't really matter. And we'll send it off. Woohoo for new socks. Who doesn't like new socks? New socks. All right, guys, brand new day and uh, got the letter done. That's the letter you can see here. If you want to read it real quick. Uh, basically, it says, I saw the sole survivor today up on the mountain at his old home at 26 Country Lane. I hid in the bushes and watched him unload a trailer full of gear. Rumor in the Commonwealth is that he's building a vault under his old home. Well, that ain't going to fly around these parts, man. I don't care what the boss says. I'm taking that vault. Ain't no ghoul, super mutant, or BOS man, that stands for Brotherhood of Steel, gonna stop me. I'm sending him a little gift. <laughs> I'm sure he'll get a bang out of it. Um, then it says, uh, and when he does, me and the girls are gonna have ourselves a new vault with all the fixings. See you in hell, Rust. And so that's the lore part of it. That tells a little story about what's going on here. And then we've got, ta-da! I think it came out really well. Um, I hope he digs it. And now what we have to do is take that and put it in that. That is going in that. Perspective. It's actually, uh, this is perspective. So it's that big and it's going in a box that's that big. So I know it looks like it's, so you look at it from over here. See, it'll fit. So don't worry. Um, we're going to put that in there, and then it's off to the UPS store to get this baby shipped so Walter can have his birthday gift before he goes on his cruise. Lucky devil. All right, next stop, UPS. Okay, so this starts the driving sequence and ends the video, so we're at the end. Uh, we don't use the video audio here, so I'm going to unlink. And... What I'm going to do is this is going to be chop cut, but we need to get our music in here so we can make the video fit the music. So I've got music called Clever Girl. And it's pretty cool and looks like this is a very short song, so we can't use it. Rats. Let's see. Then I use this one earlier. I think this one's good. Let's see what this one is. Let's start with it and see what happens. We're gonna make this pretty short, so. UPS. I want the music to actually start a little before the video starts, so we're gonna have that little sizzle in thing kind of behind me, and the, the video is gonna start right here at the big crescendo, so we wanna make sure that that as soon as we see the new scene that strikes, let's just zoom in. 
the uh, editing gets more granular the more that you, that you zoom in. So where I couldn't move this a little bit before, I can get it right perfect if I zoom in. So there we go. And now you'll hear that rising symbol, and then as soon as you see my vehicle, the music will start. All right, next stop, UPS. There we go, that's what I want. Okay, so here's where we're gonna do some jump cuts. Let's see what the music does. Let's see. Next stop, UPS. Okay, I want one right there. So we want to jump cut right here. And basically what we're doing is we're advancing the video ever so slightly to change like, I'm gonna put myself in the scene right there, but I'm gonna do it on the beat. So I'm causing the change, the scene change to be on the beat. So if you watch. Next stop, UPS. There I am. Another scene change right there. Just on the tempo. Let's move it forward. Have me leaving. So, it's not too exciting there. Lucky devil. All right, next stop, UPS. All right, we want another one right there. And then we'll let it roll, I think, from there. So let's just see when I come back in the scene. Yeah, it cuts a lot out. That's cool. That's what we want. Bring this out. Back. I want my foot to come down right on the beat. My foot's going to be down right on All the right. Beat. Next stop, UPS. All right, and then there's one final one, because that's one, two, three, four. We need the final one. There, so right on that beat. And we'll hack it one more time, right there. And then just advance just a little bit here. So I think I want to have that right when I put the trunk down. So the timing, I want to probably play around with the beat a little bit more. Let's just keep doing jump cuts right through this, see how it turns out. In case you're wondering, I'm tapping my foot. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but it's to the beat of the song and that helps me 
get the timing right for the uh, to get the the scenes just right. So I want the next part of the sequence to start right there. So I need to have the car completely over the camera at that point. So we're just going to move this back. Yep, there we go. It's pretty close. Let's just tie it down a little tighter. Not going to win any editing awards if we don't make our edits special. So let's just get that perfect. All right, that was good. So you kind of heard that whoosh in the sound, and I want that to lead to the next scene. So I use the whoosh to target where I'm going to put the next video. So that was um, video 939. So let's, we're almost to the end here. 939, got 300. So this, th this part is driving. So, uh, there's no talking during this part, uh, so we're just going to edit out the car sounds because we don't really need those. It's just going to be driving, and I might do these at high speed. I don't know. I'm going to start taking the video from about there. And I also want to shrink or expand this video just a little bit so that the front of my car does not appear. So, now I had thoughts that I might, uh, yes, I drove over my camera. <laughs> it was a careful, calculated uh, risk. Um, so, I, um, one of the things is that uh, with the, uh, the camera on the dash, okay, so that was a little lag behind, so we need to make sure that that's right. So let's go back and edit that. The camera usually um, for the driving uh, footage, um, I kind of, you know, I don't. I just use a song or something and uh, just watch that whoosh. might do let's see how much footage we have so here's where we start calculating for the end of the uh, scene so let's see how much driving footage I have uh, here's some that looks really good all right so I want that in there uh, what I was going to say earlier is that normally I would stabilize all this video in After Effects, which I have going in the background. I don't think I'm going to bother with that today. Basically, I have a selfie stick and um, I just hold it in the car with one hand. And I don't really pay attention to what I'm doing other than driving. So uh, what I'll do is just wave it around and, uh, you know, like I just don't care. <laughs> and because um, I don't, I don't care where I'm pointing it. So that's why it gets pointed at the floor and I set it up on the dash here. Is that, get rid of all that. Pull this back, more driving footage. I need to see if I need to speed up or slow down any clips. So we're not, sh not sure that we're there yet. It's a really nice day to shoot video, I can tell you that. Uh, 
I think I want that because it showed the sign. We're in the corner. We're going to stop that. I need to unlink and get rid of the audio again because we don't need car sounds. And then we'll use that one. And all the way up to here. Don't want that. We're getting close to the end. Okay, let's uh, flip it back to there. All right, and let's see. It's my ending video right here. Yes, I did just two little clips at the end. One. I think I talk, so. All right, guys, looks like we made it here to the UPS store, so I got to go inside and uh, get this thing sent out uh walter i sure hope you appreciate all this um you've been a good friend to me for many years and uh, thank you for that and uh appreciate your friendship man so um hope a little thank you for that and uh appreciate your friendship man so um hope you enjoy it and um i think what i'm going to do is uh end this vlog here and uh maybe we'll Let's see what Walter's reaction is when he sends it to me. Um, not sure, but anyways, I appreciate you guys coming along and enjoying uh, this little vlog that I did here. Um, and uh, you can catch me over on Patreon at uh, patreon.com forward slash the Explorographer or on my YouTube channel or, you know, Google the Explorographer. You can find me pretty much anywhere. Um, but follow my vlogs. I hope to be doing more of these and uh, yeah, just having fun with it. So, all right, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. All right, so that's the closer. And I think I did one little thing here at the end, not sure. Just want to say much love to my uh, Horseheads, I know this sounds weird, Horseheads New York uh, UPS store, who if there's ever any question that I don't uh, love you, man, uh, just uh, you can look at my my bill for shipping so <laughs> yeah so you should get that on uh saturday so enjoy dude thanks ups see you guys in the next one so i'm gonna leave that in there just as the end kind of thing and that is it so what we need to do now is just we need to make this driving footage match up to the um, end of the music and that makes a complete video. So let's just uh, go back here a little bit. I think all I'm going to do is um, speed up some of this footage. Why are you doing that? All right. So this footage needs to be a little shorter, I think. Yeah, so let's just go... We want that to go faster, so we'll just uh, speed that up by, oops, speed that up by about that much. That's just about right. Perfect. All right, let's just see what that does. Doesn't really uh, look like we're sped it up. that in there so rid of the bug splatter I want to start that right about there and then we got this piece which needs to be just a little bit shorter so let's speed that up actually speed this one up. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Thank goodness for the undo key.
<clears throat> Alright. I can always tell when I'm getting tired of editing because I make silly mistakes. Get that back to. Let's see. Go. Really bring it back. I want this to be fast up to a point. Like a whole minute. It's a long time. All right, so we want to do this. To there. And we want to slice it. And then I want to put this back at 100. And let's see here. All right, that looks like it's just about right. So we'll go right to there. Here, almost, almost there. Close that window. I think this will butt up against this just nicely. Let's see what that looks like. All right, guys, looks like we made it here to the UPS store, so I gotta go inside and uh, get this thing sent out. Uh, Walter, I sure hope you appreciate all this. Um, you've been a good friend to me for... And that wraps that up for the vlog. And it's a super long one, but normally I keep my vlogs around 15 minutes max. Um, and this one's 38 minutes, it's a long vlog. I haven't done one in a while, so that's kind of cool. Um, but the idea is that this was a special occasion, so it kind of includes a lot of fun stuff uh, in the vlog. So, that is a massive edit, and I can't believe you made it through the whole thing, Lori. That's totally awesome. Um, and now the only thing left to do is I'm going to save my project. And from there, I will now render my project. So, I'll come down here, click Export, Export Media. I'm going to get another window that's going to pop up, which is going to be this giant window here with me on it. And uh, I'm going to set this for H.264, which is pretty standard for video. Um, we're looking at the uh, output rate right now is 10 uh, megabits per second, uh, max 12. That's pretty low quality. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to render at maximum depth, depth. I'm going to click maximum render quality. And then down here under VBR, I'm actually gonna set this to uh, 25 and 25. Now that's gonna make a big file. That's six gigs is the file, fairly large, but that's okay. Um, I usually upload much lar larger than that. In fact, I'm probably gonna bump this to 35. Now the bit rate, at 35 just is how much quality there is in the video. So a 38 minute video at uh, nine gigs isn't really that bad. It's a long video, but um, the audio here is already set for me. Uh, in effects, I'm gonna use SDR conform. Sorry, um, I'm gonna use, let's see. I don't wanna color the effect too much. I think all I'm gonna do is, is the video limiter. Uh, which just make sure that we're in gamut and loudness normalization along with the true peak limiter that just keeps us from going into the distortion like you can see over here on the right the in the audio and that is it so it's just those special settings to get us a good sound i don't think we need a lumetri uh, effect or anything like that uh sdr you can use this if you want to um i don't know it doesn't usually work all that great for cell phone shot video, which is what I used this time. I actually used my cell phone uh, to shoot most of this video and did not use my S uh, SLR camera, my, uh, my Sony. So, um, all right, so the only thing left to do here is to either export or queue it. Um, I'm gonna queue it because I need to do some other things. So I'm gonna set this to run. The difference between an export and a queue, an export will lock up Adobe Premiere so that you can't do anything with this screen. Uh, putting it in the queue will use Adobe Media 
uh, encoder which runs in the background and it doesn't hog everything that you own so uh, I'm gonna hit Q and that's gonna disappear for a second it exports all the data and then over here off screen which you can't see I'll show you in a second you get this which is Adobe Media Encoder and it takes a second it's gathering all the data and everything and there this is my project and this is where it wants to save it I don't want to save it on my network right now I'm gonna save it to one of my SSDs so I'm gonna save it right there and I'm just gonna call this 627 log and then I'll just upload it to YouTube when it's done so we'll hit save and then when I'm ready to render at the end of this uh, broadcast, oops, sorry, hit my mic there. Uh, what I'll do is go ahead and hit the uh, run button here and that'll run and go ahead and render it out. So there you go. Uh, that's all there is to it. Um, I know it was a long broadcast tonight for sure. Um, but uh, I think a lot of people get some good out of that, I hope. And um, yeah, so uh, next week we're gonna start in on backing up your photos with Lightroom and Dropbox and, and NAS drives and servers and all that kind of stuff. So I hope you'll join me for that um, in keeping your photos and memories safe. So thanks so much, Lori and gang, and we will see you guys uh, next Monday. Bye.